specific way he's saying she comes in the name of Jesus Christ. And I can't also say I come in the name of Jesus Christ. What about you? Well, that is the title of her fresh release single i beg your pardon and that is um in your name jesus i'm going to say freshly renewed but yes freshly released single but um if it is here and so you heard jay say by the if it grace of jesus <laughs> <laughs> all pun intended but yes um let's have the conversation about the creation of the song and all of that but first how did it all start for her she is a pastor's daughter for those who do not know so is it by default that she is doing gospel or she's a minister of the gospel or a minstrel of the gospel like people like to put it or does she also hear the voice of god was she instructed to do this as others have been instructed to do hi effie hello good morning good morning you're welcome thank you i was asking her of air if green is her favorite color because some way somehow every time i've seen her she's in green every single time i love green you love green and it does look good on you so you. yeah thank it only so makes much. sense <laughs> anyway so let's start from the very beginning of the music career or your ministration right. okay right. how it all started for you um, so I think I started doing music when I was very young, like nine years old. And oh, daddy, okay. Yes, I was very young and daddy was already in the music, you know, he was doing music already. So he got to find out that I had, you know, that gift. And so he started to give me the necessary training and support. And when he had ministrations, he would take me along. I'll go do backups for him at the studio. At nine? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was, I was that young. So with that, it gave me so much, you know, knowledge as far as ministry was concerned. So that's where it started, you know, and this way I am now by the grace of God. How many years has this been? Mm, nine years till now. I can't count. <laughs> it's, uh, I think it's been if it has gone put on age, <laughs> I intentionally asked you that question because what that would do as well is now having people know what her exact. Yeah. I knew you would not mention it. Don't worry. I just knew. But for those who don't know who right. Daddy is, please, right. who is Daddy? Um, his Reverend Ben Sabunsu, mm -hmm. um, the originator of Yehu and Mabanke, mm -hmm. say my first song. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, starting at nine, getting into the studio, having an understanding of what um, music is, when did you decide that, okay, I have backed my dad, um, let me also start? Like I asked or said in the beginning, did you also hear um, the word or hear the spirit <laughs> ask you to move into ministration? Or did you just, by default, fall in line? Right. So professionally, I've been doing music, um, I think it's been like 10, 12 years now. Yes, but in 2017, that was when I knew, um, you know, God had given me something. I knew that um, this is where I belonged. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I went through some stuff around that time. But in 2017, um, I, I got, you know, a voice. I heard a voice right um that i should this is the path i have to take. to take and so that's where it all started for me way back 2017 yeah. if you'll do me the honor of telling me what exactly or just uh, touching on it lightly right. what, what exactly happened in so um i went through some stuff um, family issues relationship issues it wasn't an easy one for me okay. it was very tough you know so one night i was just in my room crying praying asking God why I had to, you know, go through all of that. And then I heard a voice speak to me. Mm -hmm. If only you will leave everything behind and let God take charge. You see what I would do with your life. Okay. So from then I was doing jazz alongside um, gospel. Ah, okay. <laughs> right. So when I heard that voice, I felt this inner peace. And then I decided to stop everything. I was doing and then just concentrate on doing full-time ministry okay. so that's where it started for me yeah okay in full-time ministry mm. as well mm. 
how have you encouraged people being that you were also doing two things let's say your attention was divided right. between two journeys right how have you encouraged people who come to you and and have said to you that i'm going through you know something and i have um some unsettling or unrest in my spirit what what is that thing that you'd say to them and um, for me um what i think helped me was um uh, whatever voice I heard in the room mm -hmm. that, day, that day, I knew it was God. And I, I decided to stay obedient to that voice, mm -hmm. you know, because um, I knew that it was God that was leading me, leading the path. So what I did was that whatever I was doing back then, I let God lead the way. Mm -hmm. And so anybody that has ever come to me to seek for advice, this is what I always tell them. Whatever you do, whatever step that you take, make sure God is leading you. Don't never go ahead of God. If He's the one leading you, definitely. I mean, it's going to end well. It's going to yeah. end well. The name Effie Grace is fast becoming a household name. By God's and, grace. And and I, I might just um, commend you on that, and then right. also congratulate you right. on not stopping because. I think that I have interviewed you as far back as twenty yes. twenty, <laughs> and at the time you you were so sure you you knew what you were about right. and all of that and. Right. Seeing your growth over the years is just really admirable. So good job on, on that, right? Thank you. Now, in becoming a household name as well, what I've noticed that you've done a lot in recent times is doing renditions of old yeah, worship songs sessions, and worship yeah. songs and all of that. I have a few of those on my playlist and okay. I enjoy those, right? Okay. You're not the only one who has been doing that right. um, as of recent. What's the need to have these renditions done? And then also, are you giving us more and more of it because of reception and then also feedback from people or is it by the leading of the spirit? So for me, I think I started doing this in 2019. It was, it was God-led. Mm. And, and I, we had so many, you know, amazing testimonies out of the worship sessions and that really encouraged me to do more of that. So I think it's, it's blessing lives and then it's reviving the old songs as well, yeah. you know, yeah. So that's yeah. what it is. Yeah. Okay, now in your name, Jesus, Jesus. is your new one. Right. Guys, for those who are just joining the interview, we played it in the beginning of this interview. We'll play it again after, but you can also head over to her YouTube or any music distribution platform and soak it in, okay? Yes, you you are a minstrel of the gospel, and so you're doing everything in the name of Jesus. Or we assume <laughs> that you're doing everything in the name of right. Jesus, right? But with this um, title as well, what what is that reassurance for you that, yes, you're actually doing it in the name of Jesus? Because, like I said, we are thinking, yes, you already give us gospel songs, right? right? And so <laughs> if you're not doing it in the name of Jesus, what I mean, are you doing what, it in? What, yeah, you know? Right. So uh, this, this song, In Your Name of Jesus, is a song that would inspire your faith, you know, in Jesus amid, amidst every negative circumstances, you know. It's a song of encouragement mm -hmm. to keep on going no matter what comes your way. The Bible makes us understand that in Mark 16, 17, the Bible says that these signs shall follow them that believe. Mm -hmm. In his name, they shall cast out devils and demons. Mm -hmm. This is our... Um, um, our reassurance. reassurance in God that in his name, no matter what comes our way, we will succeed. We are victorious already. Okay. Yeah. All right. So can you share also some mm. of these victories and these successes that you've talked over the years? Because mm. I strongly believe that there's a young lady listening to you, you know, or probably watching us this morning and wants to not be an exact if it grace because i believe that no one can be an exact replica of right. the other because we are all different right but also in towing your path and then getting to where you have gotten to and then maybe beyond where you have gotten to so me being here is is is, is a victory for me i mean Yay. yes <laughs> <laughs> if i'm here it means god has won the victory mm. for me you know I, I remember way back how I started and where I, I, am, I am now by the grace of God. It's, it's victory for me. And so I would, what I want to encourage, what I want to tell every young woman um, looking, watching me now is that um, whatever you do, like I said, if you have God, if you have Jesus in your boat, you can never fail. Okay. You will surely make it. Okay. And so whatever you do, whatever step you take, just make sure 
God is in. He's in charge. He's in charge. That's, That's it. Really important. That's now, it. I know I mentioned this to you up mm -hmm. here, but let me just say it again, that the dress that you are wearing in mm -hmm. this video is thank really, you. Really thank you. Thank nice. you so much. Um, we've seen a lot of live recording sessions mm -hmm. as of recent. Right. right. What What is that for you? What does that do for you? Instead of rather now just going to the studio, recording on your own, and then putting it out there, right? What's the need? So for me, I love I love uh, live recordings. Okay. I'm able to express myself very well. Okay. Very very well than going to the studio to record. So. Okay. It's live recording for me. Okay. <laughs> and then I'm going to ask one thing that fascinates me about okay. live recordings, right? Okay. Some way, somehow, uh -huh. we see that the audience um, is able to sing along. along. <laughs> Even if the person is singing for the very first time. I don't know how that happens, but I, I don't know. know. Do you, for you, do you take them through the song for maybe a few times just so that the optics are also really nice. Yes, I do. Truthfully. I do, okay. I do. Okay. For this song, I think I did. Okay. Yeah, but it was amazing how they were all singing along. Yeah, because watching the amazing. video, I'm like, okay, they seem to have written the song with you. It seems like right. that. Okay. Right. But talking about songwriting, how does it play out um, for you as well? Do you write or do you just, some people say that they get inspiration from a lot of places, mm. right? I mean, washrooms, when they're alone, when they're in bed, <laughs> in their dreams and all of that. Some people don't also write. They just have to be in front of a microphone and then, and then everything comes. pours out for them. What, what is it for you? So for me, mostly I get my songs through dreams. And sometimes, hey. yes, sometimes after um, I'm done meditating on the word of God, even mm -hmm. if I'm, I'm doing that, it comes. Okay. Sometimes in my prayer room, it comes. Yeah. So yeah. in your name, Jesus, how did it come? Um, it, I was meditating on the word of God. Okay. It, it's a word-based song. song. Yes, yeah, so that's how I that's got how the came. song. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now you've given up. Um, you've given us in your name, Jesus. And how many more songs do we have from If It Grace? So, Original songs before yeah. the end of the year. Because I know that the worship sessions. It right. seems like it's coming like every two weeks or every month. Yeah. Now. Every, every so two weeks, yeah. yeah. Every two weeks. I'm, I'm right. Yeah. Because I see it. I see it. I, I'm, I'm very in tune with it, so I know. So yeah, when how many more songs do we have? So in? we are working on an album. Okay. Uh, from the live recording we recorded last year. Okay. The Grace Effect. Okay. And so it will be up very soon. So okay. yeah, pray with us. Okay. So we are praying and we are hoping Thank that you. that will come really Thank soon, you. right? Is there anything that stands out um, to you when it comes to In Your Name Jesus and any other projects you've worked on? I'm saying projects because it could be your songs, it right. could be any of your worship sessions, it could be any song that you featured on. Um, I think everything that has come out from F.A. Grace Music, it's, it's amazing. Yeah, it's a blessing. Okay. Right. Now let's talk about collaborations mm -hmm. as well, right? Mm -hmm. I'm a strong believer in collaborations, regardless okay. of what you're doing, because they say that if you want to go far, you, you need to Yes, exactly. Yeah. And so I'll just ask, what do collaborations mean to you first? And then are we going to have any collaborations on the album that we are working on? Yes. Uh, so with this very album, I have lots of collaborations. Okay. Uh, I one with Emoji. Oh, she's going to mention <laughs> names. Yay! Yay! One with We um, hardly get people mentioning names. Oh, okay. So, okay, Emoji. Um, Akese, Coffee okay. Pepper, okay. and Sumisola. Okay. Yes. Oh, so okay, okay. People okay. should watch out. We are looking, looking forward to right. that. Sumisola right. is a very... Um, big mint show on right. live performances right. as well. You right. know, she does that a lot, so I can't wait right. to see yeah. how the combination works yeah. out. And I mean, everybody else you've mentioned, I can see Brian Paul, and then and then Pastor Isaiah. I didn't mention Pastor Isaiah. Pastor, Pastor Isaiah. Okay, 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 yes. okay, okay. So we'll be waiting okay. on that. Okay, right. I always say that I'm a woman's woman, so I'm <laughs> I'm just waiting for the Ife Grace and Sumisola one. For those Thank who don't know so Sumisola, she's a Nigerian um, musician or a Nigerian gospel minister so we'll be looking forward to that like i've thank already you. said thank you so much ify and um, i'm looking forward to all the things that you can do with this song in your name jesus but all before right. i let you leave have you had any testimonies so far from in um, your name, amazing jesus? testimonies would I you mean, share some with me uh, i think if you check the comment sessions mm -hmm. on the video that's what i'm asking you know and i have mm -hmm. i've had people send me messages on 
some more stuff. I mean, that the song is doing great, great, amazing stuff in their lives. And that, yeah, it is, you know, reigniting their faith mm. in God. I know people are going through a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Through so. no fault of theirs as well, you know, <laughs> because know, right? it's, where, it's where the world is at at this yeah. point. So. Yeah, so we give glory to God. We give glory to yeah. God. All right. And thank you again thank you. for coming yeah. through. We've had a conversation with Efe Grace. And if you've missed the last maybe 10, 15 minutes of this conversation, you can catch it on our YouTube. That's three music networks on YouTube. Okay. You get to see everything and everything that we spoke about as well. There is more on the show.